Hello there, and hello to you too. Walking with Gibster had to pause Avengers Endgame to make this video. Anyway, yes, I interrupted the intro just to say that. Not fine, I can watch it later. Whereas this, I can't do later because I have to get it out today. So this is the series that you guys all know of, Pokemon The Alternate Take, where I, Vlogging with Gibster, redesigned every single Pokemon in the Pokedex. Of course, we started off with Galar, and then when I got to Gigantamax Colossal, I stopped there and decided to redesign every single starter, including Gigantamaxes and Megas. So in the last episode, we redesigned Mega Sceptile. And in today's episode, we will be redesigning Trekos fire type counterpart Torchic. Zepchic Pokemon. So I put the Zisa there and then we are stuck. <coughs> so Torchic is very sophisticated Pokemon. No, I'm kidding. It's the most basic thing in the entire world. <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. Right then, so we start with the toughness on the hair. So the toughness on the hair, that could be a bit uh, different, no? So first of all, I will look up exactly what type of cheek or chiakan or cheek is best on. So let's see, what type of animal is... I'll put Blaziken instead of Torchic, it's Blaziken, based on... Oh, come on. As a shamel chicken. Shamel chicken. Right, let's see this. Oh, oh my god. They're net. Right, shamel chicken chick. Oh my goodness. They still have huge necks. Oh my goodness. I can't even look at them. <laughs> I can't even look at it. Even this chick looks ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. I, I need to stop. I can't. I can't even take it seriously. Oh my. Right, I just right. I need to get on with this. Oh my goodness, I need to start right now. Right. <coughs> Ow. Right. I've stopped my laughing fit and no. <laughs> no. I will now start to fit the hair tough. So it looks like the chicks don't really have hair tufts, however. The males do. So I'll make them somewhat small with just a big one. Well, a bigger one than the others. Actually, no, I'll do a huge one. And then the other two will just be small because I'm still keeping the fact that it has three little tufts here. Right then, and the big the beak, well, what does the beak, uh, what the, what will the beak be, will the beak uh, be around something like Zeke's, which I'm pretty sure that's something that's similar to his normal eye. His normal eye, I mean his normal beak. Now that beak just looks so weird.
Bro. Why? Of all times. Why does that taste? The eyes just look absolutely weird. So how about we keep the pattern of the face the same? That's too close to the face, the beak. No, bro. Why am I getting it so wrong? No, am I getting this so wrong looking? Then the other right. We'll go back to the picture we don't there. Right then, so that's, been, that's gonna be it for today's episode on Redesign and Toy Shake Club Pokemon The Alternate Take. So, I have been your host, Hogan Gibster. No other outro stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.